Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server adventure or bucket spigot plug in tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week or I try to. If you have a suggestion, please comment in the jibbles below. And if you find this video helpful, please help me out by pressing that like button because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is Lobby API by Zombie Striker. It is a bucket plugin, but it does work on spigot 112 probably bucket 112 as well. It does not work in 112.2, so keep an eye out for when that update comes out. It is called Lobby API, which isn't entirely descriptive of what it is. It is a Lobby plugin and it is fantastic. So it gives your users options like to the hub or slash lobby. You could put it on all the servers and that you use to work. It actually does work with Bungie Cord, which is really great. And what they need access to, they need access to lobbyapi.user is the permission node. And if you want access to all the permission nodes, that's dot star, obviously. And then uh, all the admin commands, which is lobby API, all of these commands, that's dot commands and then uh, dot hub and then dot bypass world limits is all the permission nodes available to you. So these are the admin commands. You can see all of those. You can change the material. You can add the worlds, all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the hub world first. We're going to do lobby API add world and then the name is hub and we're going to put it in slot four, which I think is right in the middle. And then you can tell it which x y and z you want to do or if you do tilde it's just going to be the current one that you're standing at now when we do hub you can see that we have this and we can tel teleport to it it's that same spot so if we do that again you can see that it teleports us to that spot so a couple things that you can do here is you can do lobby api add description and description hub being the world and then you can you can do whatever and it's a, okay you know what? api set description hub tutorial test there we go so now if we go hub you can see that it has that description in there color codes are supported so you can change that you can also do lobby api uh set material so you can change what material it is we're gonna do hub and then we're gonna do it iron uh, okay, so we got to do the ID. So we're going to do like three, which I think is dirt. So if we do hub, now you can see that it is dirt and not grass, which is pretty slick. You can also do remove world, um, or the other option is API set main lobby hub. So that's going to set that as, as the main one. So what we want to do is I find this easier than setting the X, Y, and Z is doing the tilde. So we're going to do lobby API add world world and then we want to do like let's do slot like eight which i think is all the way to the right so it goes zero to eight so it's nine slots if you do more than that it'll just go to the next line so well, let's actually show you that we'll do 10 and then um so that way you can see that it's going to add another line so now if we do hub you can see that add another line this is this is uh, dirt, and then I think by default is grass. You can see that whatever world you're in is that selected one. So we can go back to the main world, and now you can see, oh, the yellow is the default. So you see that it started the next line. So as you go up in the numbers, it'll start going down in the line. So you can also do lobby API list worlds. It's going to show all the worlds. And then rather than add world, you could do add server, and then that's going to use be the how you connect your bungee cords. I'm not really going to go into detail with that. Be sure to check out the author's wiki and bucket page because it is very descriptive. He's done a great job. There's no configuration needed for this plugin, which is really good. It's all done in game. There's a couple more commands to go over real quick. Oh, if you want to do bungee, you have to enable it by doing lobby API space bungee that turns the server on to be a uh, bungee type uh, server for this plugin and then it it'll know from there so we're going to do lobby api set default weather and then we want to do hub and then we're going to do no rain so the default you have no rain you have normal and then you have always underscore raining so you can also add joining commands so what you can do is do lobby api add joining command the world that you want to add it to and then you do forget the slash it, it'll put it in there automatically so you do me has arrived 
so now when we do hub and then go to that one, it'll say Cosmic Christ has arrived. You can do whatever you want for that command, which is really, really pretty cool. And that's about it. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It is a lobby plugin. It is very all done in the game, which is really cool. It's pretty easy to set up. So hopefully that helps you guys get started. Please leave a like. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This is Cosmic. Mind you guys all enjoy the game. God bless. Oh.